Hi friends, today I thought I would answer the fountain pen attic tag that I believe was created originally by Devin Liu. I know this one was a while ago, but I thought I would answer it anyway. How long have you been using fountain pens? I've been using fountain pens now for about a year and a half. I started in the end of August, beginning of September 2019. do you own more of fountain pens or ink definitely ink especially if we are counting the samples um, and I'm trying to not buy more ink but of course I keep finding more ink that I want it's dangerous What's the best thing about using fountain pens? I like just the endless options. You can change out the colors, you can play around with them, different nibs give you different styles and effects to your writing. Um, I just really like how creative they can be. What's your least favorite thing about using fountain pens? And I mean, the cleaning's not great. Um, it's not awful, but it's not my favorite thing. But I think probably the worst thing for me about the hobby is, or about fountain pens, is that there are no real pen stores around me. So everything I have, I've had, well, except for one, but I'll get to that, I've had to order offline. So it's kind of, uh, a crapshoot to know if it's gonna work for me if I'm gonna like it for sure so that that's definitely the worst thing for me do you own any vintage pens I do I own one it is this little um, Estabrook. I believe it's the SJ lever fill in this pretty copper color and I actually really like it and when I first got it the nib that it came with I didn't like it was like I think the accounting nib I forget what number that is but it was really scratchy and small so I ordered I found and I ordered a new nib for it which um, I really like it's the two, well, I can't see it, two, six, six, eight, or something like that, I believe. And it writes beautifully, except I couldn't figure out for the longest time why it was, I was always getting ink right on my finger bump right there, I'm writing, um, why I kept getting just ink constantly right here. And I finally found with a bright light, my section he, somewhere along here is cracked. Uh, so I don't really, I don't really know what to do. Like, can can you repair the section? Uh, do I just get a new nib section? Also, the the barrel doesn't fit tightly on the section and nib unit in the sack, so I don't know. I don't know if that matters or not, but like I, I haven't used this since I found the crack and that's why I get ink everywhere. So I don't know if I should just eventually get a new one or just hold on to this. And I even thought, yeah, there's a crack right there. I even thought about maybe 
like putting a, a smooth layer of super glue and then like sanding it down I don't know I don't really know about repairing pins so anyway this is my first and only vintage pin and while I love it I um, can't use it What are your three favorite inks? That is a hard question. I think it changes a lot. Uh, one that has remained near the top for me is the Sailor Shikiori Rikyucha, the tea green brown. I absolutely love that. And it looks different in every nib you put it in. And it's just such a, a warm, mossy, earthy color. I really, really love it. One of my next favorite inks right now, I guess it would be in my top three, is Colorverse Quasar. It is a lovely, rich, blue, purple, blurple? I don't know. And it's got a really pretty, heavy sheen. I love, I love that one. That was one of the first bottles of ink that I bought. And then I think my third favorite ink right now, this is really hard, it just, it changes so much depending on my mood, but I think my third favorite one right now is Colorverse's Pale Blue Dot. It's a really lovely teal. There's not really any, there's no shimmer in it and there's not really any sheen, but it shades really nicely and I really like how it looks um, coming out of a specific pen that I like to put it in. So, I think for now those would, those would be my top three. What is your holy grail fountain pen? Okay, so I since I think of grails as being pretty unobtainable, unless you're Indiana Jones, I'm gonna say the Monte Grappa Lord of the Rings pen. That thing is incredible. It, 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 how do you even describe it? It's so huge and intricate and just full of nerdy goodness. So I think that would definitely be my grail. I will never own it, but I will enjoy looking at pictures of it online. I really, I really enjoyed Fig Boots review of it. Wow. That pen was incredible. So the Monte Grappa Lord of the Rings special edition for sure. What is the worst fountain pen you've ever tried? That would be this one. This is the Conklin limited edition earth tones, whatever, water Duraflex. And I got it with the Ultra Flex whatever nib. And I've only tried to use it a couple of times. Every time it leaks all over my fingers, Part of that was user error. I discovered that the nib section wasn't completely screwed in tight, but then it kept leaking on me. And I finally figured out that the converter is faulty. Where the converter, can't really see it but here where the metal piece connects to like the threads are below it the plastic connects to the metal when I was trying to clean it bubbles kept coming out so I don't think it's it's sealed it's a faulty converter and so like I can't draw ink up into it anymore I can't draw water up into it and ink got left in it and I thought I had already cleaned it and I don't know how long it had been in there and then I opened it up to to use it or try and figure out what was going on with it and it just smelled so bad so the ink had gone moldy in there oh and looking at it now I see the black piece as well here that's on the end that connects to the nib unit 
is cracked and broken. So I have just, I've had the worst luck with this pen. Also, when I ordered it, I ordered it for full price. And then the moment I received it, it went on sale for like $20 less. So <laughs> this was just one of those pens that I have had nothing but bad luck with. And I just haven't dealt with it yet. I'm sure if I contacted the company I purchased it from, I could tell them about the, con the faulty converter and hopefully they would send me another one. Or maybe, maybe I should contact the distributor. That's probably what I need to do. Anyway. I'll figure it out. I am sure it will be perfectly pleasant to write with once I deal with it. But in the meantime, this pen has given me given me nothing but headaches. So I've enjoyed my other Conklins that I have, but this one, this one has not been great. What is your most recent fountain pen acquisition or addition? And that would be this one. This is a Platinum Studio, and I know there's controversy about how you say that name. And I chose the white and black because it reminds me of a stormtrooper. My local indie bookstore has just started carrying these fountain pens, and next month in March, they said they want to start carrying more fountain pens like they, they are stationary people and fountain pen people we just live in an area with not the biggest market so i think they said they were going to try and bring in some lamis and quebecos but this is what they have currently so i wanted to get one to support them and try it out because i've never tried this one before and i haven't tried it yet it is brand new i got it in a medium and it's pretty plain but it's, it's it's all metal it's got a nice weight it fits well in my hand and I know it's hard to tell on the video but I don't have very large hands so kind of a rubberized grip section so yeah I got the platinum studio and I am looking forward to trying that out that's my latest acquisition from my local indie bookstore and I love them so much If you had to start over, what fountain pen would you purchase first and why? I don't think I would actually change my first purchases. I bought three fountain pens kind of all at once after being introduced to the hobby, and that is these three. Whoops. So my Pilot Metropolitan in a medium nib, my Noodler's Ahab with the, um, their, their flexi nib, whatever it's called. And then my vintage one that is not currently working. But I really liked all these pens. These were, for me, these were really good first writing experiences. I still really like using my Metro. I like the shape and the feel. I love the solid gold color. And it's just, it's a pleasant, easy knock around pen. I don't feel bad carrying it around with me. My a my Noodler's Ahab, I know a lot of people have issues with these, but I was one of the lucky ones who it wrote perfectly out of the box the first time for me. So I, I still really enjoy using this pen. And I know it's weird, but the smell didn't really bother me. <laughs> the It still has a little bit of that vegetable, vegetal resin smell, but not bad. And what I like about these is I put uh, shimmer inks in them that would like clog up everything else. Like I think I've got, yeah, I've got Diatramentis's Heliogen Green Copper in this one and it, it does pretty well. Hard starts a little bit sometimes if it's been sitting and I have to work at it, but it does well and it's comfortable holding it and using it and I like the color. I think I got it in the Navajo Turquoise. I think that's this resin color. 
so I really like it and I did not have as good of luck with my second Ahab uh, doesn't work out of the box I need to heat set it but then I must have dropped it or maybe one of my kids did because the tines are all bent to the side now and I don't remember that happening I was using it as a dip pin and it was working just fine and now the nib is all messed up so I need to either get a replacement nib or I don't think I can fix it I don't have the tools to do that or the know-how but I think can you get Goulet nibs onto Ahab's I don't know I'll have to look into it so that one is out of commission didn't work anyway except as a as a dip pin because I hadn't messed with it yet but anyway I would not change my first purchases because these all worked really well for me when I was just starting out you know everybody has a different experience but mine was good with these three so that is it thank you for watching that was a fun tag and I don't know if people are still doing this tag, but if you haven't and you want to do it, tag your it. So that's it. See you next time. Bye.